here it is. I know it's been now almost a month since I was at IMATS, but I'm finally getting around to it. I've been really busy. I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying to find a new place to sometimes do my videos because the other room where um, my office, where I have my makeup and stuff, is kind of gets, you know, messy and I, the lighting in there is not all that great. But here I can face the window, so I'm in my room. Um, so I hope you like the background. I'll try to keep it semi-clean, which will be a feat for me. Um, but let's get on to the iMac. I love the bags this year. They're so much cuter than last year. There's a first. So I went Saturday, and this is IMAT that was in LA and Pasadena. I live in the LA area, so it's easy for me to get to. I ended up just going Saturday um, for a couple hours. Well, I went from like 8 until... What time did we leave? Like 3? And then we went to lunch me and my friend went to lunch and then we um, went home because we both had to be somewhere that evening so I couldn't stay the whole time but I did go to the seminars and a lot of the stuff that I learned about was so amazing to see these people talk in person and be able to ask them questions and just to see how the makeup artists actually do this stuff firsthand and to take it and go okay well I wouldn't necessarily do it that dramatic but I could take it a step down and still use that technique it is awesome. Oh, this is Tigger. Hi, Tigger. <laughs> um, so it was completely awesome, and I feel like I learned so much that I can use to help and show you guys some stuff. Um, so I also did some shopping. So I want to show you what I got. Um, let's start with, I got a Too Faced, um, sh Natural Eyes palette. I really like it. I like all the colors except for this bottom one. It is so glittery, like, it's so chunky. And the light's not gonna let me. It's, it's a beautiful color, but it's so chunky, and the fallout is ridiculous. I literally, even if I had done my foundation afterwards, um, when I tried this color, it just got everywhere. I had glitter everywhere. Everyone thought that I had purposely put glitter all over my face last weekend for this party I went to, and I was like, no, I didn't, but if you like lots of glitter, then that's for you, but I feel like I'm a little older, and... I've gotten out of my glitter stage. But there are tons of colors in here. Um, there are nine colors, and you can, they say to go across, but I kind of feel like you could do diagonals and that you could just mix and match all of them. You know, like it doesn't, you don't have to go by what they say. It came with little cards that tell you, you know, what colors and stuff like that. And it came with, there's a little drawer on the bottom that has a, brush and a little applicator. I obviously haven't used them because they're still in the plastic, but so that's what I got from Too Faced. Um, I went to Naked and this year I had, I decided that I was going to go and get an actual, um, um, collection from them and it's still in the package. I don't have them screwed together, so you can have them so they're individual packaging, you know, each has, or you can take off the tops and screw them together. And I, this is the, oh, which one is this? The Naturally Nude 6 stack. And it's so, so pretty. Let's see if I can get that. It's just, the colors are just, when I saw this, I was just, the colors are so amazing. I have, like, nothing on my finger. Let's see if I can get that. No. They're just so, so shimmery and pretty, and I feel like you could use these for so much more. 
they had some really cool products where you could turn them into like nail polish and things like that. It was really neat. And so I'm really excited to get to use these. Next, I got a, another Z palette because I plan on pressing all of my um, pigments into little pans. And so I'll need some place to put them. And last year, I bought a Z palette and I got this one and I love it. So I decided to buy another one and I figured pink and the zebra go together. So, yay. Then... I went to B. Delium, and if you don't know what B. Delium is, they are a um, brush company, and their brushes are supposed to be um, have a cleansing property to them. Do I have their little thing that talks about them? No, of course not. It's not in here, is it? Oh, yeah. Okay, so be delicate. I found their little flyer thing. Um, they're supposed to be professional antibacterial makeup brushes. Luxurious all nickel plated brass ferrules and all black lacquered birch handles. This is the Maestro collection, which is what I have. Um, I really like these. I actually bought two of them last year at IMATS and fell in love with them. Um, they're not expensive. I'll just tell you. They really aren't, and I don't know about the antibacterial part, if it's great or not, but good for that, um, or how effective it is, um, but I just know that I love these brushes, and that they're really, really good quality, and I don't have anything bad to say about them, they're just great brushes. So, the ones that I got were... This natural powder brush, it's still in the package, and this one was $12. And it's just a huge powder brush, and it's so soft. I love it, it's so soft. So, I don't have one this big, so it's very nice, and just use it for powder all over. Um, this one I've used, obviously, for this look, which tutorial coming. Um, and this is this. Oh, sorry. This is the 980 in the Maestro collection, and this one is an angled um, eyeshadow brush, and it's the 765. I also bought a flat eyeliner definer, and the small brushes were five dollars, and the larger ones were twelve. So it was like 4 or $5 for the small ones and like 11 to 14 I think, for the bigger ones. So really, there's really good prices. Um, so I got this one, and it is the 714, and it's great for doing eyeliner or really doing a thin layer of, you know, eyeshadow or something in there. The next two I've used, this is a nice buffer brush super dense and soft and it is the 957 again I like to use this for powder and foundation and stuff like that and then um, I've been using foundation lately because I found a good one that I really like foundation updated foundation routine coming up soon too and so I wanted to buy a foundation brush because I tried something else which I think I'll do a video about comparing it uh, we're talking about it and um, so I bought a foundation brush from them because I knew that I really liked their brushes so it was nine the 948 so I bought four, five brushes and I spent fifty dollars and they're really high quality brushes the other brushes that I have from them, I actually have right here, and it's their pencil brush, 
which looks like this and it is the 780 and their crease brush which is the 781 so it looks like this so that's that okay the rest of the stuff in here is all stuff that I got for free it's one of the perks of going to IMATS is you know, when you go to the seminars or even to just the booths, they have free samples. So, um, I went to the Sigma booth because they were there this year and they had their eyeshadows to try out. I was really excited to see them. So they have one from each of their three palettes. One is the Reveal is, okay, so here there. It's Reveal, Act, and Oversee. So it's from each of the three types of palettes. They really are really pigmented and really pretty. I'm like seriously was amazed at how velvety soft they are. And I'm not one for buying brushes online because I have a skin allergy. I can't use the Bare Essentials ones because they break me out. And so I've never... People have raved about their brushes and everything, um, but I've never gotten them. But honestly, after feeling them, I think they're pretty good brushes. I mean, I didn't get to, you know, play with them or anything, but I think they're... I would definitely buy them and try them out. So, when I get a little more money, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I also went to a seminar from Youngblood Mineral Cosmetics. I'd never heard of them. They're a professional brand. And I'm not sure if I'll get to use this because they're really dark for me. But they have a mineral, radiant, tinted moisture um, foundation. It's in a little pump. So it's mineral makeup, but it's cream-based, so it's a little different. And then they have the same thing, but an illuminator. They have a primer, which I'm excited to try, that I got. They gave me some powder that they, it's like a warmth color. It says, it's kind of a bronzer, like a light bronzer. And then... They also, their hydrating powder, a sample of that, and it's just white powder. So, and, oh, there's so one more thing in here. Wow, they gave us a lot to try out. Um, and then, liquid mineral foundation. I don't know what the difference between the other is. I guess this is a moisture tint, so a tinted moisturizer, and then this is a foundation. So I'm going to play around with them. They look a little dark for my skin, but I might be able to work with it. Since it's summer, I can kind of make it fudge it and make it look like I have um, a tan, because I don't tan. Um, so let's see, oh, there's one more thing. I totally forgot. And when I went to Too Faced and bought the palette, they gave me their face primer. So I have that to try out. And it's actually a fairly big sample. Um, other than that, just my thing. Here's all my notes. And on the back from the things about what I wanted to tell you guys um, or video ideas and stuff like that um, I had so much fun it's ridiculous how much fun I had with my friend I wanted to stay there so much longer though I got tired and then you know I think I had a, I don't know it was just so much fun and I learned so much so I'm really excited to go back next year I totally plan on it and um, 
totally lost my train of thought. Anyways, and I actually want to go both days next time and do the seminars both days. So hopefully I will get to do that. And I also will put pictures at the end of this from IMAT. Some of them are a little blurry. Sorry, it was kind of hard with all the lights on certain people because um, they were trying to film it to get it onto the camera. Um, but yes, so that's that. And that's my IMATS experience. And I had so much fun. And I hope that you get to do something like this and go to a beauty convention or a makeup convention or something of that sort because you can just you learn so much just walking around and seeing people and you get to test those products out like I've heard so much about naked cosmetics you know and I got to play with it and you know it's so much fun and if I hadn't gone I would never have discovered B. Delium and found out that I absolutely love and I mean love their brushes um, so I will see you in the next video. Bye.